Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Charlie, the Average Guy Fishing. Today's episode is brought to you by Socks Renovation and Design, your local home improvement contractor based out of good old Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. Good enough, Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. <laughs> uh, better known and operated, building dreams one now at a time. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. You better subscribe. Hit that notification bell and smash that like icon. Then leave a comment. Let me know what I can do to do this better. Come on, guys. I need your help. All right. I've done going through this month's Ministry Tackle Box. I've gone through this month's uh, Bass um, Monster Bass. I just went through the Google Squad Mystery Box. So let's go ahead and keep her rolling. And let's go through this box I got right beside me. All right. I got... Boom! Biospawn products. I have the XA Swim 4 inch, which was the dollar deal on Carl's Bait and Tackle for, I think, their sixth week giving. And as you can tell, I did uh, go out of my way and uh, I purchased a few of them just, you know, just in case because these would be great at the bait shop. Alright, <laughs> now that we got those, y'all got to see them. Let's go ahead and, uh, hold on a minute, guys. Let me, uh, open this box up. Maybe, yeah, I got it. Alright, let me put that there. This is the, uh, Biospawn Essentials Kit by Catchco. Um,. Has some numbers on it. Box number 12, executive order 023112. Genetically engineered baits. Let's see what it says on the back here. Genetically engineered and ready for deployment. An undisclosed lab in the middle of the desert is leading a confidential project, Biospawn. Reverse engineer the natural forage of the world's waterways. They break down a subject's DNA, mutate it, and rebuild an optimized clone. Alright, this doesn't sound too much like some Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, other stuff. Alright, you know what I love? I love a box. In a box. Let's see if we can get it out of there first. Oh. Boom, box in a box. Come on, guys. Catch care, you guys are amazing, but come on, let's save the trees, guys. Come on. Let's go ahead and open this dog up. See what happens. Oh, wow. What we got here? Oh, there was already in this box once, to be honest with you. There's a sticker. It's attached. That's this. Look like this. It's actually now attached to my computer. Oh, look. It is a little bio report scanning the biospawn collection, genetically engineered baits. All right. Well, I'm going to keep that out because I don't really know much about the old uh, bio spawn, but let's go ahead and pull first bait out. This is a uh, oh, what is this? This is a rattlebot crawl, lipless crankbait, sinking deep, subtle rattle. That's actually a different kind of rattle, and this is in the hot sauce color. Like this is a crazy, crazy looking bait. And as I said before, I'm not. Not really big on the lipless crankbait, but I'm gonna try it next year because I've been seeing a lot of those guys um, on YouTube catching fish off lipless crankbait. I'm talking about like Yak Pack fishing with Norm, Old Lojo, AO, John B, AP Bassin, Lake Fork guy. Uh, all you guys, you guys are just amazing. I mean, you guys. Y'all can catch some fish, and I, I'd like to actually, like, hook up with you guys one time, fly to where you're at, and have y'all put me on a PV. All right, well, let's see. It's called the Rattlebot. The Rattlebot Biospawn has moved into a new phase, the crankbait. The Rattlebot is a lipless crank genetically engineered to imitate two universal bass snacks, the crawfish and the baitfish. I ain't never seen a baitfish that look like this. I ain't never seen a crawfish that look like this. But, whatever. I mean, if they have faith in it, then cool. Says, uh, when fish move up to the shallows in spring and fall, fish the rattlebot with a steady retreat just off the bottom. When fish are around aquatic vegetation, rip the 
bot, the rattle bot through the grass to trigger reaction strikes. I actually like this crazy look. Wow. All right. Next Ooh. is the XA Swim 4 inch, which is kind of like this one here. Well, oh, the ground here. But this, yep, 4 inch XA Swim. This one here is a 4 pack. And this one here is a 6 pack. And this one here is a Lab Magic. This one is a Pro Blue Red Pearl six pack. It's a ribbed paddle style swim bait, paddle tail swim bait. Sorry about that. And let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, let's see if I can find it anywhere. XA Swim. The combination of tail motion and body roll will fool even the savviest game fish. Plus, our exoskeleton profile displaces more water. Fish it on a spinner bait, swim jig, uh, keel weighted hook, or weightless. Hmm. It's actually pretty cool. I'd like to actually, uh, for my bait shop I'm doing, I would actually like to order a good bit of this because this stuff here looks like it would work really well in the area that I'm at. Alright, next. We have the Exopod 3.5 Enhanced with BioSense. And this is in the... I'm trying to see what color this is. It has flange kicking claws, narrow head for increased water flow, and a jointed Exosystem 7-pack. Okay. So you guys can see that. I'm oh, sorry. Let's turn it around. It's easier to see. Green on one side, blue on the other. So this would be the Okeechobee Crawl. Um, it says Texas rig, trailer, bladed jig, swim jig, punch rig, or a ball head jig. Uh, it's modified life form. Comes from various fish catching enhancements. Biosynth infused. Double tail exoskeleton uh, produces unmatched erratic action. Disclaimer baits don't actually have genes. No kidding. It's just bait. Well, live bait has genes. But man made bait don't. So there's that. Next we have. I thought this thing was crazy looking. It's the Vile Crawl. Enhanced with Bioscent. Uh, it has claws that move even at slow speeds, paddle tail antenna with erratic wobble, and reimagined hook slot for added weedless protection. And this is in the green pumpkin, so you guys can see it. It's pretty crazy looking. Let's see what this says. Uh, this is the vile crawl. Has a patented claw design with unmatched action and paddle tail Antennae sensitive to the slightest motion and uh, innovative hook slot means less snags and better hook sets. So this probably has a hook groove in it. Yeah, right here on the bottom. So, I mean, this is actually, this is different. It's different. This is another one I wouldn't mind getting. Let's see what else we got here. We got the Exo Ribbon with BioScent 7-inch 8-pack. Uh... The Biospawn Extra Ribbon was genetically formulated for a perfect soft plastic worm action. The fluttering ribbon, ribbon tail imitates moving prey when hopped, dragged, or swam. The tail unfurls underwater to attract predators with reflected light and enticing vibration. And this is in the Candy Red Blue Flake. It comes in an 8-pack. And as you can see, it's actually a pretty crazy looking bait. It actually looks kind of almost like a corkscrew on this end or, you know, something to pop open a adult drink, like a bottle opener. And last but certainly not least, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Plasma Tail with Biosense in the sprayed grass. And I tell you what, this is like a, it's kind of like a, version of Guggen Slim Shake, just a whole lot smaller. I'm trying to see if it says what size. As, um, drop shot, shaky head, darter head, jig head, or Texas rig. Has a neutrally buoyant plastic formula, narrow tall section for enhanced action, 
and two collar plasma plasma tip to attract the finicky fish. Let you guys take a peek at this. Look at them colors. It's kind of like a root beer when you do it that way, but it's a green and everything. And the best way to actually see these colors and check these baits out is by going on Carl's Bait and Tackle and ordering them. Seriously. Go on Carl's Bait and Tackle. Go uh, get a hold of Catch Coat, whatnot. And order yourself some of these crazy baits. Fish them in the area. And when you do that, come back to this channel. And let me know in a comment how they work for you and everything. But as you can see, I'm I'm getting my baits together and everything. And uh, I'm always freaking out because I think I have like I don't know six or seven hundred new unopened packages that I haven't even started with yet. So it is what it is, guys. You know, it is what it is. Unless you make it better, we are. Moving along on this YouTube. I'm putting out content. I'm putting out videos. But I really need you guys to be active participants. So I need you to like and share, guys. Subscribe. You know. Comment. Let me know how I'm doing. I know my videos have gotten a little bit better. Some, some have fallen off. And I know you guys ain't really uh, here to watch me unbox stuff. But. Because there's a thousand people on YouTube unboxing things. But, you know, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. And everything. Uh, as soon as this weather breaks and gets a little bit warmer, I'll be back out on the water full time. When I'm not working full time. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on right now, guys. And, uh, like I said, I got the tackle shop going to be starting up here in February. Uh, I was sitting there goofing around on Amazon. And I found these... Um, Pack, 20 packs, 25 packs of uh, unpainted crankbaits and stuff like that. And I'm thinking about seriously, like having a little event at the park with some kids. Get some kids together, you know, get them out there at Cape State Park and help me design some baits. You know, I give you a bait, you paint the bait, you keep the bait and everything. And I'm going to also myself invest in some bait making material uh you know like some molds some soft plastics uh stuff like that but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna buy some quality um unpainted plastic uh crankbaits and stuff like that uh paint them myself see how they work maybe sell a couple see how people like them i mean i'm not a bait maker i'm a fisherman i'm a construction worker but it's another hobby you know and I, I have quite a few hobbies. Uh, a few years ago, I wanted to learn how to make knives. You know, I was going to get, build the forge, this, that, and the other. And then kind of lost interest in that. And I went and started doing gold prospecting, which I have found some gold and stuff like that. You know, going out there with my gold pan and my shovel, many sluices and everything. You never know, man. All right, guys. I know this was a short one. And I know there's no fish in this one. But, you know, it's cold, guys. I'm in West Virginia. It is cold. I want you guys to have a great holiday. You know, whether, however you celebrate it. Like I said on my channel, I don't get in religion. I don't get into politics. I have my opinion. You have your opinion. I have my religion. You have your religion. Let's all be peace and harmony, guys. That's all we need. All right. You guys have a good one. I'm out.